Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with The Legend of Korra book 2 episode number 3 and 4 reaction. Okay, um, the previous two episodes, uh, the first episode of book 2, um, we can see Korra's drastic uh, behavioral change. You know, she became like kind of like a rebellious kid and now like you know like she, since she thinks that she is has all mastered all of the other elements uh, you know like not all of the other element, elements sorry uh, air bending um, he wants to learn something else that's why you know like he wants to she wants to learn water bending and because of that like you know later on uh, people from the northern yeah northern tribe northern tribe come in northern water tribe come and uh, she meets her uncle there uh, her name his name is unalok and uh, he can do like you know spirit uh, like control spirits and stuff and <clears throat> you know she's fascinated by that she wants to be like you know learn from him and that's why like you know like she kind of disrespect stands in which was something that really annoyed me in the first episode um <clears throat> all that stuff like you know like it, it's a mess like you know Korra's behavior is kind of a mess at, at this point and uh like yeah like then there was like you know like a spirits attacked this and that happened and Korra's like nah i'm going to learn like you know how to control spirits and le learn water bending from unalak unalak is like all right let's go to the northern water tribe this and that then zin goes away on vacation because Korra, like you know bad mouths him in a way disrespects her, him and <clears throat> all that stuff uh the dad also follows this and that and also like you know then uh, i think it was then in episode two starts yeah um we, they go to the they're on the way to the northern water tribe and uh, they get to know um, uh his uh Korra's dad's past which is the whole thing with um you know him, him kind of messing up and you know destroying the spirit forest and <clears throat> Uh, that's why you know like he was uh, exiled this and that and his dad her dad says that don't make the same mistake that i did because Korra is going to like you know walking through that path but Korra doesn't like you know listen she's like nah whatever i don't want to listen to this and that unalak is my best friend now like you go away that's basically what happened that was the summary um <laughs> the dad goes away this and that and i have to say like you know like Korra did come like you know handle the spirit the whole thing pretty well i was not expecting her to actually handle that so well but she kind of like you know uh, handled the whole thing the thing that she was supposed to do i don't remember what it's called but the lights like you know the aurora lights this and that all of that happens everything seems fine but unalak is like nah we have more to do let's go to the northern water tribe they go there and there are ships it seems as if they're uh, like you know preparing for some war or something um i thought like someone attacked but it was actually unalak's ships and i do wonder what he's planning with that unalak seems suspicious i don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy he seems like a bad guy but he's kind of manipulating Korra again uh, just like tarlok did before uh but at least in tarlok's case Korra did not like tarlok but here she's like ah like unalak is the best <laughs> so yeah that's like a big problem here so let's see what happens i will try my best to actually ignore Korra's um you know like the, i'm sure she's she's going to misbehave after this as well i try my best to ignore that <laughs> because you know like yeah like i i feel like she's going to like unless and until she changes her uh manners you know i'm pretty sure she's going to annoy me in the future as well so i'll really try to ignore her like you know hopefully ignore her behavioral outbursts and stuff so anyways let's get started this is episode number Three and four of Legend of Korra book two. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, the sun's spirit portal. Okay. Dark secret. Okay. <laughs> Civil Wars. Oh, my God, that doesn't seem all right 
Okay, what's happening here? What the hell? Yo, what? My God. What are they ha- Um, Unalak Can you explain this? What the- Oh yeah, this is the southern portal. Okay, I was making a mistake all along. This is a southern portal. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I was making a mistake up until now. So they will, okay, travel to the north after this. <laughs> yes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, really? Wait, what? Uh, wait, what? Then, is, is he mistaken? <laughs> wow, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that... Yeah, she, she gets this visions and stuff. Um. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Nice. At least they're having a nice time. Wait, what? <laughs> this guy is eccentric. True. Yeah. Um, the plates, you're breaking it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Yes! Yeah! Come on! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Oh my god, yo. Okay, civil war, I understand.
Yeah, Cora. No, she he's going to manipulate her back. He's going to manipulate her back. That's what he's going to do. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy. Well. Oh my god, what's happening? Bolin! Uh -huh. Wow, he, he, he or she has Babu hostage. Yeah, really. Wait, what? She just wants a servant. That's what she wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just... Wait, what? <laughs> Bolin. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> yeah, he's the expert, you know. He's an expert at that. Oh my god, Marco. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> He's right. Bolin is right, you know. I completely agree with him. <laughs> oh my god, this is... Oh, oh wow. Yeah, my brainwashing is getting a little, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so... Better do something about it. Yeah. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah, this this guy's bad news. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. Oh wow. Yeah, you'll become my puppet. I'll I'll control you from the shadows and do you'll do whatever I want you to. Oh. Yeah, that's what you get. Oh. Yo, what? What the hell? Yeah, they're kids. Like, oh my God, this is a mess. You are. Uh. Great. D d leave her alone. D d this girl doesn't. Oh my god. Oh yeah, she's missing. Oh my god, what happened?
Come on, Boomy, not the time. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo. Ah. Uh. True. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, that their relationship is nice. My God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, 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 Marco, move. Run. Yeah, yeah, run. This, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, no, no, Marco. Marco. All right, okay, that, that, that went well. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, no, wait, what? Yeah, so fun. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. Wow. <laughs> Why not put some salt? You know? <laughs> <laughs> True. Go on, Bolin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Three typhoons. <laughs> Uh. Wow. <laughs> okay, calm down. Tenzin's not happy. Like, you know, Iki's missing. Yeah. Um. Wait. Oh, okay, come on. Bo Boomy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, is, she, is she like sleepwalking or something? I don't know. Like, what? No. Oh my god. But he's an earthbender, isn't it? I don't. I'm. I'm not still sure. He's an earthbender, isn't he? Well, yeah, and obviously Tenzin can also airbend and just... <laughs> yeah, boomy. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Wait. Is he not an earthbender? Is he like a normal person? Oh.
Yeah, I'm going through my rebellious phase. What? Oh yeah, that. Okay, okay. So wait, why were they actually keeping her here? That's also my question. Oh, it's... what? What? Yo, what? What is wrong? True? Oh boy. Great. Just let her go. Let her just learn her lesson, you know? She'll fall down, smack her head, and that's when she'll understand. Oh boy. Wait, who's that? That's... That's her dad? Oh god. Uh, I feel like everyone's just like you know out of their mind. Like not only Cora, but like you know these people as well. Like what are they trying to accomplish like this? Great. Wait, maybe this is like a little trick that Unalak is playing. All of their faces are covered. If these are actually Unalak's men, and he is doing this to brainwash and trick Korra, I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too much into this, but it wouldn't surprise me if it actually turns out to be something like that. And maybe these are just Unalak's men, and they're just acting. Is that really her dad? I don't know. He didn't talk. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is, is that really his, her dad? Come on, open, open the, open the. There you go. There you go. This Unalak's man. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's good. <laughs> Wait, so is Bumi <laughs> doesn't know bending or is he like an earth bender? He's not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was an earth bender because his name was Bumi. I was wrong. Oh my god, they're also fighting now. Wow. Come on, you need to find your daughter. What is wrong? Oh my god.
Oh god. Ah. Great. Everyone's just having a mental breakdown. Oh my god. Hmm. Great. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Mm. Okay, thank you, God. What the hell? What? Oh my god, great, wow. Ah, uh, god. Uh, well, um, yeah, I guess. I, <laughs> at least, like, you know what? I'll, I'll say, like, at least, um, Cora, by the, you know, like, not the end, but yeah, kind of like the end of this episode. Cora kind of apologized, you know? Like, I'm glad about that. Uh, yeah, but now Unalak is back to his old old tricks again. And like for a moment I thought Unalak maybe he is like, you know, okay with it. Like, you know, he's like an okay, okay guy but when he's like accepted the trial. But now I'm thinking like, nah, maybe, maybe. Like, he's confusing me. I feel like he's the enemy in this uh, book. You know what? Yeah, I think he is probably the main main antagonist of book two. Most probably. Yeah, it, it's definitely because the way he's kind of controlling everything behind Cora's back and all and just, I don't know. Like, yeah, he, 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 he seems like the bad guy here. But anyways, all right, this episode. Um, Here we see <clears throat> how, like, you know, the... Not, now here's one thing i kind of had it wrong um i i don't know why but up until now i was under the impression that they are at in the north they're already they went to the north and they opened the portal in the north but from he, this episode i realized that i was completely wrong they're still in the south and they went to open the southern um portal and now probably after this is going they're going to go to the north this was like my wrong impression you know up until this time so like you know like that that kind of got clarified in this episode where they just mentioned that yeah this is the south and like you know the northern army is here okay now here's the thing from like i don't know what cora is actually like why like has she become completely like you know stupid like she she's seeing that the northern water tribe is coming with that army in the southern tribe they these people are misbehaving you know like doing stuff whatever the hell they want to like you know making like barriers of ice like you know dividing the people and doing whatever they want to and Unalak says that oh this is for unity and Korra's like yeah you're right this is for unity like no, this is not. What? 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 This is unity. You bring a, 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 an army from another tribe to your place and starts harassing the citizen. And this is this is 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 this how you're going to like like you know accomplish unity? I don't know. Like I I feel like I feel like our con concept of unity is different here. Like what? Like and Cora's like yeah you're right. Like what? Like did did she keep her brain like you know somewhere else? And like she, she's not thinking. She's she's just whatever Unalak is telling her to do. She's like, yeah, you're right. Maybe this is how how like you know like it is supposed to be. Unalak is pointing at 
uh, um, a red color and she's he's saying yeah oh this is blue and Korra's like right you this is blue this is not red that's basically what's happening here and i don't know i i, I feel like this is this is really weird okay <laughs> Like, like she spent her whole life with her parents, these people, you know, the water tribes, like the southern water tribes people. And she has been living here up until, I, I don't know how much her age is, but from the moment she was born, she has been here. And in comes Unalak, who she never knew before who it actually was. She actually converses him with, I don't know, like one or two days. And she, she realizes that, oh, all the people that I've spent all my life with, all these years, my dad, my, my, you know, my people, my neighbors, they're all wrong. They have always been wrong. Unalok is right. I talked with him for two days and I realized that, yeah, they are right. This, like, this is what is happening. It's extremely weird, in my opinion. Like how can someone think like this now i do understand like i'm sure like you know the, like a few people will tell me that oh because she got to learn about the past you know the past of the dad and uh, you know the whole thing that unalak said that oh they are actually tr like you know enclosing you in this place they don't want you to leave here and uh, they have been lying to you up until this time um, I'm sure like, you know, uh, that is probably the reason why she's acting like this. But simple things that any person with like, you know, a, a half of a brain would be able to understand that, yeah, like these people are taking, bringing in army from like, you know, from the other place. And there are like soldiers, thugs just moving around, harassing our people. And <clears throat> like, you know, that they're saying that they're, they're doing this for unity. So anyone, anyone with a brain would be would be easily be able to understand what Unalak is trying to do. He's tr he's trying to control this place, and I don't know what he's like. You know what his ultimate goal is, but it's something. It's not peace. It's not unity. That's definitely I'm sure about it. But but Cora is not understanding that. I don't know why. Like this is this is really weird. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. But anyways, um. Okay, now we also the whole thing with Tenzin. Tenzin in like you know is in vacation. Kaya and Bumi is there as well. Now up until this time, I was I was under the wrong impression that Bumi is an Earthbender because you know like his name is Bumi and I thought like oh maybe he's like an Earthbender or something. Um, turns out I'm wrong. Bumi is just a normal person. So okay, that that makes sense like you know, and okay so here um we see there at the vacation, Iki is missing. I think her name was Iki. Yeah. Ikki is missing, the girl who kind of saw those weird visions as soon as Korra kind of unlocked that, the portal, and she's missing, and uh, yeah, they need to go and find him, her, and uh, Bumi, uh, what's her name, Kaya, and uh, Tenzin, they decided to go and search for him, uh, for her. Okay, then we switch to the next scene where Varric, this guy, uh, I'll be honest here, I kind of like him. <laughs> But I know the thing that he's doing is obviously incorrect. He's trying to rebel against, you know, um, Unalak. Like, whatever Unalak is doing, actually attacking him and, like, you know, like, trying to kidnap him, all that stuff, is kind of wrong, in my opinion, because they they still have not, like, you know, like, it, it's as if, like, they are kind of, like, Varric is starting this whole, like, you know, war. It's kind of like that. So, I don't know. Like, you know, like, I, I feel like there's something with Varric. Either he is very what can i say like you know short tempered and he's just you know kind of because of his outburst he basically tried to attack and kidnap um unalak either that or he has some other goals of actually really like you know uh, uh what can i say like kidnapping uh unalak and doing something you know rebelling against him something like that either this or that but <laughs> <laughs> his personality is kind of interesting you know it's kind of eccentric the way he kind of does stuff like kind of eccentric it reminds me of Saka of a little bit you know the way he kind of <laughs> talks and everything and uh, yeah but still I feel like I feel like he he is definitely at the wrong here because he is like you know initiating this like, even though Unalak is actually like you know doing bad things they, they should have like you know protested um non-violently not like this like this is going to definitely start a war 
and I'm I'm pretty sure about it. And, and like you know, like you don't want any wars. Ang always like you know, like said, like you know, no war, always peace. And you know, everyone ex like you know should realize this that whatever a war is, it can be civil war or like any other war. You know, it 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 only takes from people and like don't don't start a war whatever happens and that uh, like you know like and, and vax just basically kind of ignited the flame and I, i'm sure this is going to spread after this and it's probably going to result in a war again i don't know hopefully nothing major happens and uh, if if a war really starts these people are going to lose everything not only the southern water tribe the northern water tribe as well like that that's what's basically going to happen and everything's going to go down like their economic condition their like you know like everything their environment is going to get destroyed the people maybe people are going to get killed and like you know like it, it, it'll be a mess like war only takes like there's there's nothing good in, in war and you should always try to avoid it whatever way you can so varic actually doing this i feel like that was a big mistake he either did this deliberately because he wants to get back at unalak and like you know like rebel against him either that or he's just like a hot-headed person and he, he he just did it like i don't know i'm 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 guessing i'm thinking maybe he really is trying to rebel against varic maybe he has some grudge against him or something who knows we'll see <clears throat> yeah okay then we shift to bolin and my god bolin is being <laughs> uh, just like you know dragged around by eska and desna i think that were the, their names i don't remember properly uh, it was something like that and <laughs> I'll have to say, you know what, I, I have to say, like, Bolin is probably the most wholesome person in, the, in this show. Like, you know, like, <laughs> when Marco, like, he, you know, he comes crying to Marco and he's like, oh, what should I do? And Marco's like, well, just break up. Like, that's all you need to do. And Bolin is like, wait, break up? You can do that? <laughs> is that really a thing? <laughs> like, this really shows how wholesome he is, you know. I really love Bolin. My God. This is such a nice person. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that line still gets me now. He's like, <laughs> break up, what is that? Is, is that something you can do? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and <laughs> and Marco Marco's like, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm the expert. You know, I'm the expert at that. Like the way he explains it, it's I, I feel uncomfortable the way he kind of explained that. He's like, okay, wait a minute. Where is that part? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Bolin's, uh, not Bolin, sorry. Uh, Marco's uh, quote of the day. Ending a relationship is kind of like pulling off a blood-sucking leech. You just gotta rip it off and get it over with. You'll feel a lot better afterwards. Trust me. Yeah, I trust you, Marco. But you know what? This quote that he said, it only applies to a relationship where you know like where no one is happy or you know like the other person does not love another the other person you know you should do that the thing that marco said here definitely uh, applies at, at that situation but you know what when he was saying this line i was envisioning you know marco and asami and asami is definitely not a person like that as far as i've studied her She's definitely not a person like that. So I don't know why, but whenever this she was he was seeing this, saying this, I like you know my my brain was working and I was thinking about him and Asami, and the words that he said kind of pissed me off because of that. That's why I'm saying you know like the thing that Marco said is definitely true, but only in certain cases where you know like none of them are happy with the relationship or like you know like stuff like that and like you know like all that stuff like but but here asami asami is such a nice person and the way he kind of explained this i feel bad for her you know like i don't know why but yeah like that 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 really is like i don't know but yeah like i'm 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 pretty sure he like you know he was he was not like you know mentioned like you know not like saying that to asami but he was just mentioning uh, the girl here because uh, the girl who with who's with Bolin, you know, like I don't know what Desna or I think Desna was her name, wasn't it? But yeah, um, uh, I'm sure he was mentioning her and how she is actually like you know kind of like you know using Bolin to do whatever the hell he she wants her him to do, 
and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure that that's what he meant. But I don't know, like, you know, like, as soon as he said that, my, my mind kind of went to Mako and Asami's relationship. And yeah, Asami definitely does not deserve that. And you know what? I, I, I'm glad that Asami actually broke out of this relationship. She, she wouldn't have been happy with Mako. And I don't know if Mako and Korok could be happy together. It seems they're still going fine. And like, you know, I'm happy for them. But yeah, like Asami, thank God, like, you know, like you move on. You know, Marco, no, no, definitely not, not Marco. Oh my God. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> and bowling, <laughs> bowling, bowling, did, <laughs> bowling just, you know, like he, he gave the appropriate response to this. He's like, I'm lucky you're so good at breaking girl, girls' hearts. Cora better watch out. Oh, thank you, Bolin. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, that is that. And then there was that whole thing with um, you know, Unalak. Korra goes to Unalak and he, she tells him that, oh, this is happening. Everything's kind of going in a messy direction. We must stop it. And Unalak is like, we? You, you're the avatar. You should do this. Go ahead. You know, like um, this and that. I, and obviously, he won't do that. He, he's just putting everything on Korra. <coughs> so that however the way it goes, he can probably later on blame Korra for it. I don't know. I think it's something like that. He's, he's planning something like that. And we can see how the, like, you know, random thugs are coming and just messing with people. The kids are just, you know, throwing uh, snowballs at them. And they're even trying to attack the kids. And uh, yeah, Korra tries to stop it. But obviously, no one will listen to her because... She, she kind of is, like, you know, acting, uh, like, you know, on the side of the Northern Water Tribe. You know, kind of acting for them. Something like that. Like, like obviously, like, you know, like, um, I myself would have been pissed if I was one of the villagers suddenly seeing Korra, like, you know, getting chummy with the Northern Water Tribe. While she, like, you know, all the time uh, spent, you know, like, from, from birth, she has been here. And, like, you know, we the villagers, even their mom and dad, like, cared so much about her. And now she's doing this. Even if, even if like, you know, if I was the villager, one of the villagers there, I would have also been pissed at Korra at that moment. So, yeah, I don't blame them. But the dad comes and he stops everything. And this kind of shows that his dad is definitely the, you know, leader here. Like, if something happens to the dad, everyone's going to be pissed. And I, I, I kind of, like, you know, I kind of fear of that. Like, you know, the ending scene where they decide, they have decided to arrest uh, the dad and the mom if that really happens this is going to blow up you know people are going to get mad and and th they are definitely going to start a war and i feel like mm, unalak is trying to do that but yeah anyways okay the next scene uh, we go back to tenzin and how tenzin oh my god and this part tenzin like you know is like we can see this like ang probably had like a favorite child something like that you know he probably preferred Tenzin because like you know he was an airbender or something i don't know like he like they, they kind of are telling it like that how boomy and kaya is not happy about that they kind of like you know say that oh you always went with that like you know we never went anywhere like there's a little spark there but i'm sure everything will be fine they're nice people you know and it's just a fight between siblings all right um the next scene Cora and Marco, my god, and at that moment I was really feeling bad for Marco. I was like, Marco, just don't talk with Cora at this moment. She, she's going to, like, you know, get pissed at anything. <laughs> but yeah, and Bolin brings in Esna and Desna. <laughs> and uh, he talks about how, you know, like, they are kind of, you know, like, kind of annoying him, like, you know, like, using him for everything and all that stuff. And how <laughs> they're, they're threatening him, threatening him, all that. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know, it's like a weird relationship. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because it's, 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 it's an amusing situation, you know, like Bolin being kind of... I feel bad for him, but at the same time, this is like, kind of funny. <laughs> and I really hope, like, you know, uh, Bolin gets out of this, like, you know, really. Like, they, unless, un until, like, you know, like, the girl really likes him. I don't think she does. Like, I'm, I think babe, she's basically just using him. I don't know. We'll see. But if that really is the case, yeah, Bolin really needs to get out of this. Otherwise, it'll be a bad situation in the future. Like, she is going to control him, each and every thing. And you don't want that, you know. 
um okay and the next scene they're still trying to find icky and all like you know it's like all that is happening and here i get to know that actually boomy doesn't know any bending techniques and which i don't know why i just thought that he was an earthbender because his name was boomy which was wrong obviously and uh, i i now now i think like they probably named him but no 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 yeah, I was going to say that they probably named him Boomy because he was his personality is kind of like Boomy. But then I realized that obviously, like when you were a little kid, you were unable to like you know how are you going to tell how it, what that person's personality is. Obviously, not also because of that. I'm I think probably like you know he's a firstborn, isn't he? Yeah, like since uh, Ang like, you know respected Boomy so much, that's why he named his firstborn Boomy. That's probably the reason why. Um. Okay, then uh, Cora goes back to her, you know, sees her mom. The mom talks about, uh, you know, him and his dad, her dad. And, like, here again, Cora's like, oh, Unalok is correct. You know, uh, like, like, what? You talked with him, you, you met him a few days ago. And now you're doing this? Like, this is, this is really, like, you know, weird. So much weird. Like, oh my god. But, you know, like, at least uh, she also ex you know, realizes that the war should not happen. That's good. You know, he, he goes out and he sees that there's, like, people with masks kidnapping Unalok. And as soon as he saw, she saw them, she's like, oh, that's definitely dad. But obviously that was not his, her dad, you know. And, um, like, Cora, like, there's, like, a little fight that went on. He opened the mask of the person. And he realized that is not his dad, her dad. And uh, he says that don't throw them in prison, have a trial. Like they also deserve it. And at least Unalak accepted that. And then we get back to like uh, Tenzin and then the whole thing. And we see them coming, having a little bit of an argument and they're not happy with, you know, like, you know, like a little, small little grudges that the people have, that siblings have like, oh, dad liked you more than me. You know, you went there, here and you went there, all that stuff. And Denzin is like, no, definitely not. You know, like all that stuff. I had to become the responsible one. Like all this, like, you know, little sibling, like, you know, fights. I'm sure that will just go away. But they need to find Ikki as soon as possible. And that's what they should, like, you know, focus on. Then we shift again back to Korra. And Korra is back home, sees dad, hugs him. Korra's like, I'm sorry for all that I said, all that I did. And I'm glad about it. He at, at least apologized. Now she, the only thing that she needs to do is apologize to Tenzin, and realize what Unalak is trying to do. That's all that she wants needs to do now. Um. So yeah, let's wait. But yeah, Unalak comes in. He's like, "Oh, you're under arrest, Tonrak and Senna. Yeah, you're under arrest for like plans for assassinating me this and that i'm like what what's happening i'm sure the next uh, answer, uh, episode is going to answer our question and i'm sure it'll be something stupid i'm pretty sure like unalak is probably going to bring something up which is going to be pretty stupid and going to arrest them i don't know how Korra is going to react to that let's see so yeah like <clears throat> I don't know let's let's see like what happens like uh, like I don't know like I feel like I feel like he's wanting a war you know like Unalok Unalok is trying to start a war here like that's what he's trying to do so let's see if I'm correct so, all right um episode number four of book two let's get started so I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. Hmm. 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 Yeah, like, what's up with this? Civil Wars Part 2. Come on, Cora, say something. 
Cora. Yeah, there you go. What? I don't know, he's telling that Judge Hota is some, like, the most impartial or whatever, but... <laughs> okay, Eska, that's her name. Oh my god! Run, Bolin! Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow oh my god yo you need you need to get out of this yeah Yeah, just... Oh my god. Wait, where is he? Yes! <laughs> ping ping! Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> She's in that gun! Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Wait, what? <laughs> oh no, don't don't involve him. Don't involve him into this. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't involve him. God, he's hmm. Wait, no, no, they're, they're, they're telling you to go with them. Wait, what? They're training them. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god. <coughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think they're pretty okay with it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the court. Oh my god. I I don't think so. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, face bomb. No, he oh, no, no. 
if he's really like you know okay What? Oh my god, what, what is this? Ah. Uh. What the hell? You didn't even ask that. what? Wow, yeah, fair, fair trial, great. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, wait. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Boom. Oh my god. This guy. Well, yeah, obviously. But I think he's going to oh no. God. What? Okay, enough is enough. Brit like beat up Unalak. I want to listen to what Cora has to say now. I really want to listen to her. Yeah, this guy is part impartial. Great. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This guy. This guy. Yeah, Cora, you're stupid. <laughs> no, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Denzin, you understand? <laughs> yeah. That's what brothers and sisters are, you know? I'm, I'm sure Denzin is also understanding their... Okay, there you go. They have to go back to their parents. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Wait, I, I think I made a mistake. I think Jinoro got that uh, vision, didn't it? So wait, I think I'm wrong. I think Jinora saw that vision, didn't she? And Iki was the person who did not see. <sighs> um, Cora.
Great. <sighs> okay, she's going to. Yep. Yeah, you messed with the avatar. Now you're going to get your dues. I really hope he, he actually tells that, yeah, like, Unalak told me to do this or something like that. The impartial judge. Yeah, let's see what he has to say. Come on. Yeah. There you go. Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Speak. Speak for God's sake. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. Wait, he got it? Oh, I didn't even know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think Aang thinks like that. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Wait, really? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Is that? Oh no. Okay, this has gone too far. This has gone too far. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, great. Uh, oh. <clears throat> Oh my god. Shut up. Yeah, but we can we can Yeah. Oh, you want to know? 
Wait, what? Okay, come on, go to your avatar state and just... Yeah, come on, come on, we have more people... Oh my god. Yeah, yes, there you go. Yeah, just leave him, just... <clears throat> okay. Wait, what? <coughs> Varric is inside it, isn't it? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Yo! Wow, money so- wow. Yes. All right. Um. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, damn. Yes. Oh, true. Um, air bending. <laughs> Yeah, you can air. I hope you can air bend it. All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, not air bend, but still. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Thank God. Ooh. All right, let's go. Yes. Ooh, look at that. All right. <laughs> yes, a platypus bear is. <clears throat> Okay. Alright, time to burst them out. Only one ship? <clears throat> oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they jumped. Okay, okay. They already jumped. Nice. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Took them by surprise. They thought that the plane crashed. Talk. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, let's go. Yes. Run, run. Yes. Oh, boy. What happened? Okay. <laughs> All right, Tenzin, you also need to do that. Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh wow, it's there. <laughs> yeah, they also didn't know that. I think yeah, we need to confront it.
what oh okay well yeah yeah Okay, well, I guess we have a plan now. Let's go to the Republic City. No. Well, you saved him from... <laughs> oh, boy. Um... Wait, is that really... Oh no! Yo, this girl is crazy! Yo! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that, that's a lot. <laughs> All right. Well, what what can I say? Um, tough luck, Bolin. <laughs> uh, yeah, my God. Okay. Well. <laughs> okay. You know what? All right. I I think like you know like it, it's good that Cora kind of like you know learned the truth. Hopefully, she won't act like she was acting up until this time. After this. Uh, because now she knows all the like you know sec not secrets but yeah all the things that have been happening behind her back and yeah thank god for that like i'm, I'm pretty sure after this uh you know like coral probably like you know go back to her original behavior she's not going to act like that you know like uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm happy that this happened that uh, it happened this quickly i was thinking like this episode like you know the thing that happened this episode where coral learned all about Unalok's treachery I thought it was going to happen in the 8th or the 6th 7th or the 8th episode uh, and we're going to like you know kind of what, what do you call it like you know, kind of do the same thing over and over again like Gora's going to misunderstand stuff she's going to like you know help Unalok this and that I thought it was going to continue for a while after this but thank god everything worked out well she knows the truth now and yeah Hopefully, he understands after this. <clears throat> okay, so this episode. Uh, the first, in, in the beginning, we see how Unalok arrested uh, mom and dad. And now, <laughs> Esna and Eska and Desna, I think that was their names. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm really getting confused. Who, who's the girl? Esna or is it Des? Okay. Uh, let me just check. Uh, Desna and Eska. Okay, Desna Eska. Desna and Eska. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so so Eska. Eska is a female, isn't it? It's a girl, and Desna is is her brother. Yeah, Eska. So you know, es Eska and Desna, they <clears throat> they come in and they start uh, you know searching for Varric. Now up until this time, you know. Like, I kind of, like, you know, suspected Varric for, like, you know, maybe some uh, thing. Uh, you know, maybe he's, he's kind of instigating that or something like that, I thought. But it turns out he's, 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 he's the good guy. He's one of the good guys. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I was proved wrong. Because I liked, I liked Varric's, like, you know, personality. And <laughs> as I said, he kind of reminded me of Sokka. And Sokka being one of the best characters of Avatar. And obviously, I did not want him to be, I do not want... Uh, Vag to turn out to be a bad guy, so it's nice like you know like I'm, I'm happy that he's actually one of our friends and You know like he, he's going to help us Okay, um, so <laughs> Varric is inside the platypus bear um, model and He talks about how like you know like how they can bribe the you know bear people. and I, I was kind of like you know, skeptical about the situation because he was actually involving Bolin into this and I was thinking maybe after this, you know, like Bolin is going to get trapped and like, you know, get arrested or something. Uh, thankfully, it did not go that way. But yeah, he, he basically gives them money and he's like, oh, just bribe them. <laughs> just bribe them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the way you do it. Now, 
Okay, then we shift back to Tenzin. Like whole the whole Tenzin thing, it, it was basically him trying to find like you know uh, Ikki and uh, like you know him realizing that ah we are just brothers and sisters. We are going to like you know kind of uh, like you know quarrel and uh, like you know fight like, like you know with each other because we're siblings. And uh, yeah, that's just it. That's basically that what he actually realized. You know that family is like you know like we should always have our families back. And how, like, you know, even in, in the most toughest time, even if, like, you know, our brothers and sisters annoy us, you know, hit us, you know, or, like, you know, like, kind of, like, you know, does weird things, <laughs> you know, um, it's, in, by the end of it, you know, when we really are in trouble, they're definitely going to have our back, like, that's family. And <clears throat> he, he goes to, like, you know, okay, now here's one thing, am I wrong, is was it Ikki who saw the vision or was it Jinora? Like I've like, you know, like I up until this time, I thought uh, Ik Ikki was the one who got that vision because, you know, she was missing. I thought like because of that vision, she got missing. She went somewhere, started, uh, I, I don't know, like uh, sleepwalking or something. I thought it was something like that. Um, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe Ikki is not. I think Jinora is the one who got the vision, didn't it? she? I don't remember. But I think it was Jinora. Ikki just not like you know randomly just ran away just like you know to to get away from his her siblings it's probably that correct me if i'm wrong and uh, let me know <clears throat> okay uh we see that they're like <laughs> little sky bisons <laughs> she made them uh, her new you know siblings <laughs> and she's like oh your name is this your name is that and uh <laughs> yeah that's kind of cute uh, and Tenzin also like you know joins her all right we shift back to the trial here Unalok is like my god like this is ah uh, this was frustrating because like Unalok he like everyone gave their like you know like their what do you call it their statements um I think his her name his name is Judge Hota or something yeah Unalok is like ah oh, he's the most impartial judge he's definitely going to like you know judge uh, impartially this and that blah 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 and yeah hota obviously asks a few cherry-picked questions and doesn't even listen to anyone else and he's like ah you're guilty you know all of you are guilty uh, the girl uh, no, sorry not the girl sorry um Cora's mom uh, obviously like you know she he cannot tell like you know like you know say that she's guilty because obviously she's not involved in any of it so she's fine but all of you are guilty just because you know they were there when the rebellion was being planned just because of that so yeah that was it and Korra was pissed off I'm, I'm i was pretty sure he was she was going to do something to <laughs> hota and <laughs> like yeah and then like okay the first thing that he, hota did is he's like okay all of you death sentence and uh, like my god like and 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 the, the manipulation uh, Unalak is like, okay, come on, like, you know, these are my uh, family members, you know, just, like, you know, no death sentence, something else, please. And he's like, all right, you know, lifetime prison, imprisonment. And, uh, you know, everyone is like, oh, look at him, you know, uh, even though his brother tried to, like, you know, uh, kill him, not kill him, but uh, kidnap him, he's saying that, yeah, he does not deserve it because it's his family. And that's basically what he was trying to do there. And also keep Cora to her, his side. And obviously Cora was like, oh, thank you, uncle. And uncle is like, don't, don't mention it, Cora. You know, it, like, my God, the, the, the manipulation. Oh, my. And yeah, that was that. And, and the whole thing with <laughs> Eska and the Bolin is just hilarious, you know. And and kind of scary, sad at the same time because Bolin has to go has to go through this. But I think this is probably done in a more casual and a more lighthearted manner. And it's just like a, a crazy girl is just you know trying to uh, like you know just follow like you know make Bolin follow her and everything. And uh, yeah, she's like okay, like you know like and Bolin is like you know what, Eska, it's not working out. Like there's this huge divide between us. And uh, uh, you understand what I'm trying to say? Eska is like, yeah, I understand. There is a great divide. <laughs> Bol is like, oh, thank God. <laughs> said, yeah, obviously. So that means to, to cover the divide, we need to get married. Here you go. 
<laughs> your, your, the, the necklace, the betrothal necklace or whatever that was, that was like a collar, you know, puts it on Bolin and just drags him away. <laughs> Poor Bolin, like, <laughs> if he knew that on that day when he said that, you know what, let me just go talk to them, you know, like, if he knew that this was going to happen, my god. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know actually what's the deal with her, but I feel like she's like, um, you know, one of those Yandres, uh, who's, who's just, like, you know, obsessed with Bolin in her own way and just won't let him go away at all. Like, like, yeah, I think it's just that. So, <laughs> anyways, okay, then we shift to Tenzin's, um, you know, scene again. Uh, we see how uh, Ikki is talking about the brothers and sisters, how... Like, you know, like, like that, that whole scene where they, like, you know, say that, yeah, even though we fight, we uh, annoy each other, we are family. And obviously, when there is something bad happening, trouble, in, uh, like, you know, in, in, in one of our other siblings' problem, uh, problems, we are definitely going to help them out. We're going to have our back, uh, each other's back. <clears throat> <laughs> and Tenzin also, like, you know, like, understands that and, yeah, they go back. <clears throat> okay, Cora's inside um her dad I forgot her dad's name again anyways her dad's uh, uh cell prison cell and she at the first at first she was like okay let's break you out and uh Cora's dad is like no you're going to start a war like don't do that don't try to do that and the northern tribe is very strong and they're going to just like annihilate us and <clears throat> Cora has other plans, and you know what? I think this was the best decision that Cora took after this. She went for the judge, and I think this was the best decision. Like you know, like the, he, he, she went for the judge, kind of like you know, roughed him up a little bit. Said that, oh, you know what? I'm not here to talk with you. Naga has something to say, so yeah, you better keep that in mind. And <laughs> the judge basically says everything, and a little bit of bonus as well. He he says that okay, like. Um, Unalak told me to do this and that would have been enough but he gave us a little bonus he was like you know what like you know like Unalak was also the person behind your father's banishment and that was a surprise to me as well I was not expecting that at, at, you know and uh, yeah so it turns out he was pretty like you know, he was bad from the beginning like it was not that yeah something happened this and that no he was like this from the beginning, so that means yeah, no mercy. You need to bring him down. And Cora gets to listen to this, and I'm really glad this happened in the fourth episode. I was thinking this was going to happen in the eighth episode or something, and up until that time, we're going to see the same Cora trying, like you know, kind of uh, her rebellious attitude, and it's going to continue. So thank God this happened this quickly. I'm glad. I really, like you know, was kind of like you know that whole the, all the scenes of seeing Cora being manipulated. And just you know tricked like that and her actually acting misbehaving with her parents and everyone else was really like you know irking me and I'm really glad that everything is out now and hopefully this won't happen in the future again and yeah Cora listens to everything Cora realized what what was happening and uh, yeah okay and then then we see Kaya and Bumi again how Bumi kind of says that I'm sorry, like, you know, my, you know, it was also my mistake. They hug and yeah, everything's fine. Fine. All right, Cora comes back. Uh, they, to <coughs> Marco, Varric, Asami, they talk about what they are going to do. You know, because now that everything is uh, out, they need a plan to break uh, uh, Cora's dad out. <laughs> Bolin is also there and Bolin, yeah, she, he's struggling, you know. <laughs> Like, Eska is crazy. Eska, Eska is definitely going to get married to him. And yeah. <laughs> and Bolin is like, you know what? Let's do this. Because I think this is the only way that we can get out of this situation. You know, my marriage can only be stopped if I rebel against them. And, and I'm in. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. They break in into the prison cell and Unalak is there. And I don't know what the hell Unalak thought. He thought somehow he, he probably... He thought that he, would, he was going to stop the Avatar. But no, you're not that strong, Unalak. So yeah, Cora just gives him a little bit of airbending, you know, a taste of little airbending, and yeah, Unalak is defeated, kind of. <laughs> so 
So now here's the thing. I, I think they could have just, you know, tied him up and do, did something, but it would have been a waste of time. You know, the, 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 the ship would have gotten away by that time. So uh, I, I think the decision was correct, actually leave, letting him go because there was not enough time. The, the ship was moving away as they were like, you know, kind of wasting time here. So Cora and all of them go out and uh, Bolin is with the platypus bear model. <laughs> A bear that poops money. <laughs> like, my God, this scene. <laughs> it really shows that money solves almost everything, you know? Almost. I'm saying almost. Not everything. Almost everything. Like, just, just throw some money here and they're like, oh, money! Let, let, let's just go in. I'm sure the guards also probably just, you know, rush to take the money. And yeah, they took that opportunity and got on the boat and just, yeah, ran away. <laughs> okay, and they also had like an airplane and uh, yeah, Korra, Mako and Asami, they, you know, with their teamwork, they move the boats and everything, ships, and just go in. <clears throat> Not go in, but get out of that place. And uh, yeah, they reach the uh, ship where her, her dad is kept and go gets in, rescues everybody. And obviously the avatar is there with them. It's, it was an easy, easy job. You know, they save everyone and get out. Okay, scene shifts. Um, Tenzin meets with, you know, his family again, brothers and sisters, siblings. Iki meets with her, her brother and sisters as well. And they kind of like, you know, kind of hug and, uh, <clears throat> say sorry to each other, apologize, and everything is okay. They're siblings, obviously they're going to fight now and then, but yeah, obviously they're going to have their back at each other's troubles. And we see a little picture as well, like that was kind of nice, you know, like seeing Aang and Katara again, you know, their young, younger selves. Okay, let's see, Aang, Katara, um, I think that's the one with the little thing you know, in the mouth, the pacifier in the mouth. Uh, that's Tenzin, yeah, that's Tenzin. The little girl is obviously Kaya, and that's Boomy. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay. Then the scene shifts. Uh, Cora talks with her dad and uh, says how, like you know, she knows everything. Uh, Un uh, Cora's dad also gets to know that Unalak was actually behind the banishment as well. He did not know that. So he's like, yeah, we need to teach him a lesson, like enough is enough, but we need to, like, you know, we, we should not go j just like, you know, rushing in. We need to make a plan. He tells Cora to go and get help from Iroh. I think that's what they were, he was mentioning, you know, the United Force, I think they said, he needs to get uh, help from General Iroh and he's going to help. He has like, you know, a lot of uh, naval power and everything, and I'm sure he's going to come and help. Like, I still don't know who uh, General Iro actually is. Is he really like, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Zuko's, I don't know, like Zuko's child or something? Like, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm sure they'll let us like know in the future. Uh, so yeah. Okay, and thank God Cora actually listened to her dad uh, this time. She was like, you know what? Fine, I'll do it. And uh, <laughs> the last scene was hilarious. <laughs> Cora's like, oh my god, I started a civil war. And Bolin's like, oh no, no, it's fine. You know, like, this this is, this is was needed. Because I, like, you know, this is the only way I could have broken up with Eska. <laughs> and then they're like, wait, someone's coming. And Bolin just takes the, like, you know, little thing. The, the... <laughs> and, oh my god, <laughs> Eska's... You know, makeup is just falling off and the hair is like crazy and, and, she, and she's coming and she's coming for Bolin. My God. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen after this. <laughs> Bolin really, really messed up, you know. He went for the wrong girl. And this, this is a mess. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to get out of this. My God, this is crazy. <laughs> So yeah, oh boy. So yeah, that was it. You know what? I'll I'll have to say I'm glad that they actually ended the misunderstandings in this episode, and I'm hopefully Cora, like you know, we're going to get back our normal Cora. You know, uh, we're going to get our normal Cora back from here onwards. So yeah, hopefully. So thank that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to Avatar, uh, 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 the Legend of Cora, 
uh, book two episode number three and four so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of the legend of korra so until then goodbye and have a nice day